there any issue with saying Tehillim and Achenu Kobeis Yisrael on Shabbos? Is there a difference if you do Tehillim with Tzibun? No. Bishas HaSakana, you could say, you could daven for Tzorchim on Shabbos. And my shul, you know, we say, Kama Pirke Tehillim after every Tefillah, and we do so in Shabbos and with Achenu Kobeis Yisrael. Somebody in the middle of Shemin Esri or Kriya and the siren goes off. And they run to the shelter. How should they continue? What happens if they spoke out in the middle of davening? And the same would be if they're in the middle of the suda and they didn't bench yet. Do they bench in the shelter? Do they wait till they get back? So this is one of those shyless once again, when we talk about the yochid and the tzivo. You're in the middle of shamanes the siren goes off. The likelihood that the missile will explode in your shul or where you're davening is extremely remote. But I can't give a psak that you don't need to go to the shelter. Because if nobody is going to go to the shelter, people will die. And therefore, when the siren goes off, you need to go to a shelter. The problem is in many shuls there are no shelters. In my shul there is no shelter. So what we did in Simchas Torah, there is one part of the shul which is the farthest away from windows, glass windows and doors. It's under the Ezdes Noshim. So we went there. But you just continue davening. Wherever you go, you continue davening. And if you're in the middle of the Suda, just take your Kezai's bread, take it to the shelter. And then you continue and, uh, and you bench there or you come back to bench where you previously ate.